G'day, welcome back. So today we're going to see if we can bring these dead batteries behind me back to life with some Epsom salts. I've got these three batteries here. They're all pretty big capacity. We've got a 590 cold cranky amp, a 630 and a 700 cold cranky amp battery. They're all pretty big capacity. They all test pretty poor. Um, they all fail the test. In fact, this, this one here in the middle here, uh, that, that's putting out a massive 11 cold cranky amps currently. So the aim of the game is use a concoction of deionized de water an Epsom salts or magnesium sulfate, uh, see if we can breathe a little bit of life back into these batteries. They're never going to be perfect, uh, but if we can get kind of at least 70% charge, 70-80% charge, they'll be good enough for starting project cars, using on the tractor, keeping things alive, or just a 12 volt power source. So that's the aim of the game. We're going to mix up a batch, do some tinkering, and stick them on the charger, see what happens and let's get into it all right so this one's going to be the focus of our of the video here this is a ford silver calcium 80 amp hour 700 cca battery it's a high quality battery uh, factory fitment to fords mondeos diesels focus diesels that kind of thing ford rangers so it's a big old battery they're chuff and expensive if you need a new one um, so let's see what it tests at now it's it's fully charged more or less let's have a look stick them on the old testeroo 12.42 volts so a little under fully charged but it's been on the charger uh, we're out of the vehicle regular flooded cold cranky amps dial in 700 get there eventually Right, so it comes back, replace battery, 12.41 volts, rated at 700 cold cranky amps, we're pushing out 168, state of health 21%. So yeah, it's, it's through bad. Um, so what we're going to do, first of all, we'll take our tester off, we're going to take the caps off, drain the battery acid, and then we're going to fill it up with our concoction of magnesium sulfate and deionized water. Stick it on a charger, see what happens. Right, we're dealing with acid, so we've got gloves, we've got goggles, we've got face shield. Be safe, plus some overalls too. Right, we'll pop the caps off the battery here. We'll get you a look on the inside there. And we'll see what you can see in there. So certainly none of these are empty. There's certainly some acid in each one of those. Just go ahead and drain it out. That's what we've drained out of this battery. It's pretty grim looking. You can't see the bottom. We well, just about see the bottom of the tin there. So a good kind of liter of fluid, give or take, I'd say in there. Uh, so yeah, we'll go mix up a batch of um, magnesium sulfate, Epsom salts, and deionized water. Stick it back in here. We'll stick it back in there and charge her up. Right now we're going to make our concoction. So. Uh, we've got 500 grams of Epsom salts, which should mix in with about a litre of demineralised water. So we'll put just under a litre out of our two litre tub and uh, mix it all up. All right. That's about just under half.
Right, here's the battery. Here's our magnesium sulfate Epsom salt concoction. Uh, we're going to top up each cell with it. And we're going to stick it on charge. We filled up our battery with our solution. I uh, didn't show you the whole thing because it's pretty slow with a 10 mil syringe. Um, use something bigger or a funnel. Uh, so what we're going to do, I'll pop the caps on, wipe this off. We're going to agitate it a wee bit and um, do some tests and put it on charge. Given the battery a good shake, uh, so just out of curiosity, see if there's any charge at all on this. You wouldn't expect anything really, uh, but just for informational purposes, there's our meter, you probably can't see that. Wow. It's interesting, eh? Can you see that? According to the meter we've got twelve point three volts, twelve point two seven volts. We've done nothing apart from replace the battery acid with our magnesium sulfate mixture. Uh, so let's put the battery tester on, see what it says, and then we'll put it on charge. Seven hundred. Replace uh, so 12.2 152. So we've lost 16 cold cramping out cold cranking amps 46% uh, charge. So let's stick it on the charger see what happens All right, so we're hooked up to the battery charger. Here is the battery charger. Uh, it's a 9 stage 8 amp 6 and 12 volt computer controlled fancy battery charger uh, deals with normal wet uh, calcium, AGM and gel type batteries. Um, it's got desulfation stages. It's good at re should be good at recovering batteries. Uh, I've had kind of mixed results with this battery charger. It certainly wasn't cheap. It was a pretty pretty spendy deal. Um, and I'm not just saying it was mixed results because it's a Repco one, not a super cheap one. Uh, sometimes it seems to charge stuff well. Other times it seems to make batteries worse. So we'll see what it does on here. Um, we got it set to calcium because this is a silver calcium battery. Uh, what we do need to do, because we've just replaced all of our electrolyte, we're just going to loosen these caps off just so they can vent because chances are they might vent a fair bit. So just have them loose on the top there. We don't want unnecessary pressures in here. Now the recovery cycle on this battery charger can take up to kind of two days to, to go through. It sits there and it kind of pulses and tries to shake all the sulfation off the off the plates. So they're sat loosely on there. They can vent nicely. Put my face shield down again. And I'll hit run. And we'll see what it does. Did nothing. Error one. Good. It's a good start, eh? Man, I hate this thing sometimes. Turn it off. Turn it on. 12B, we're set to calcium. Good connections, run. See, that time it works. So it eases into the charging. We've got 13 and a half volts. Oh, now we've got the full 8 amps going in. 8.2 amps. 60% charge. 
Yeah, so that'll do its thing. It'll do some high voltages. Again, that helps shake the sulfation off the plates. Uh, we'll run away, leave this until it's charged. Should take a day or two, and then we'll see what it tests at, see if we've improved on that 100 and, 100 and something cold cranky amps. So we'll catch up with you, you in a day or two. About an hour or so into the, the charging process, see we're up into higher voltages, 14.5 volts. Uh, calcium batteries need high voltages to charge anyway, uh, so we're getting up there, doing it at a slightly lower current, so 4, four amps. Charge is nice and warm. I reckon we're at 90% charge, but that last 10% takes forever. Uh, see, it's doing its thing. I just came down to, to neutralise the, um, the old acid with some of this bicarb baking soda. Because, uh, yeah, I'm going to work tomorrow. I don't know who's going to come into my workshop. Uh, so we'll make it nice and safe, and then we'll dispose of it properly. Twenty four hours into the charging, uh, still ticking away. Uh, sit there, at kind of fourteen point seven volts, give or take, uh, somewhere between one to two amps. I reckon we're at ninety five percent done. So, yeah, we'll keep going for another twelve twenty four hours, and then um, hopefully we'll we'll have a result. This is how the fancy charger works. It's got a whole kind of nine stages of desulfation, pre charge, soft charge, bulk charge all those other bits and pieces including a recondition phase pretty standard for modern battery chargers uh, so yeah hopefully it can do something 48 hours in 14.7 volts we're between 0 and 2 amps mainly so we're getting closer reckons we're 95% so yeah hopefully by the morning that should be all done we're fully charged it's taken two and a half days give or take to uh, go through all the cycles and get that where the charger thinks it's charged so let's do some tests and see what we got take the charger off all right start off with a multimeter just because you got 13.01 volts <laughs> that's a chunk eh? right 13 volts um, yep yeah, that's a lot of volts Put this old charger on. Positive. Oh, negative. 12.94 volts. Seven hundred. Hundred and seventy six cold cranky amps. What a waste of time that was. That was pretty disappointing. Not entirely unexpected, but disappointing nonetheless. Uh, now, obviously, that was a pretty rough and ready go at reconditioning the, this battery with the Epsom salts. If you look online, read the guides, um, people get a bit more carried away with it. I just wanted to see if it did something, and it didn't really do anything. Um, so, yeah, where do we go from here? I've still got two batteries that. I can have a play with uh, so if you've got any ideas of how to modify the process change it up actually get a positive result out of this then um, comments down below that'd be awesome uh, but apart from that I'll do a bit more research see if we can come up with a way to make one of these batteries hum again and uh, we'll go from there so there you go comment like subscribe and we'll see you for maybe more of this maybe we'll junk this but certainly something else coming soon to a internet near you. Cheers.